There he is. Mr. Lewis? Say. Oh my god. Mr. Lewis has arrived with my mom. Oh, with your mom? Guys, we are chilling here. Let me reduce. Actually, let me reduce the zoom. We are saying goodbye to this beautiful apartment that has give us has gave us that beautiful view of the ocean, super close to the ocean. We were waiting for my parents to pick us up. Full of stuff. We are right with a very little and we are living with even eggs <laughs> behind my back. Guys, welcome back to another video or welcome if you are brand new. My name is Rocio from Argentina. We are in Argentina at this point today in my city, Mar del Plata. And I am with Marra, my mom, my dad. They have come to pick us so we can move in officially to our new house, new studio. Hola, ma. Hola, <laughs> As a uh, Ugali Uga flower, guys, imagine. Mm -hmm. All of this. Mr. Luis, todo esto. Ya te echaron. No? Hasta los huevos te tiraron. Te tiraron hasta los huevos. My dad is joking. They kick us up with, even with the eggs. <laughs> But no, nobody has kicked us, guys. We have um, agreed till today, and everything was was on point. Thank you, Mar del Plata, and this apartment for giving us this view for a month and a half. We have stayed here. Now it's time for a new chapter. So let's go, guys. I'm in the super with my mom. We are making some. See, we are making some cleaning stuff uh, for Chase. I'm buying glasses also, as well for the house. Now I need uh, I need these things for the house. Pero tiene la casa con palo, ma, sabes? Con el palo. There's some areas where there's more music, so I cannot uh, record the whole the whole experience but I need like the last things in the house last details um, stuff for moving uh, yes I need also for the trash something like this or something like this or even like this we'll see what we are getting Tendrán acá eh, palo de escobas con palo. Ah, okay. A ver. I'm looking for a broomer. For a broom. Ah, here. And a squeezer. But ah, okay. Okay, okay. So what they have here is actually the the the, the stick. Ajá. Uh -huh. Um, this size is good. This size is good. Not too big. Because one of these looks like very, very big. Right? Oh no. This was like the smallest. Okay. I can see another one. Okay, I need two guys here. We don't use the mop, the mopper that we have in Africa. Here we use, we are more used to squeezers like this. So I'm gonna get one of these. I'm gonna get also one brush. What else do I need? Um, I need like, you know, these things for cleaning toilets, uh, for picking up the, the trash. This is basically what we are doing today. We are already moved in. My dad is finishing still to <laughs> fix some of the things. 
and then I start arranging um, the apartment. In the meantime, I'm here with my mom doing this purchase. Guys, so we are officially, officially, officially in today on the apartments. I'm in the front of my mom's house and I'm moving the things uh, to the back, but I'm excited because I just received a package that I was waiting. Many times you ask me about all the stuff for the baby and guys, you doubt me too much. Of course, I have all that covered, everything. Discover, look what I received now. Let's see together. Because me, I'm also excited. I will put you somewhere else so you can see from distance, maybe with a better light. Um, I ordered this especially, especially for the baby. Everything here is for the baby. And it's so cute. So cute. Let's see. Let's start. Baby haul. Baby haul. Okay. This is very cute. Look at the colors. It's like a green with. It has uh, some uh, rabbits and trees. I selected everything like combined. And this an organizer organizer here to put uh, diapers and everything so very practical I can have it what somewhere there in the house and everything is ready very cute very cute very cute uh, I bought it from an entrepreneur from here so it's good to support people Mirama tell him no my mom is a tailor, so let us let us open with my mom so she can she can also be uh, a church. <laughs> Mira, este es bolsito, mm. bolsito ahí organizado. Ah, qué lindo. A mí no se me uh -huh. había ocurrido uh -huh. hacerlo, sí, sí, pero mira qué sencillo que está. Sencillita, y uno mm. tiene acá. Mm. acá. Wow, wow. Ay, me lo llevo a mamá. <laughs> Incluso todo, todo sí. alrededor puede ser. Sí, mira. This is very, very practical. Mm -hmm. That's what I chose. I choose. A ver, what's next? Oh, qué lindo esto. Este también combinado. Vamos. Mm -hmm. Neceser. Neceser con un, acá, un cierre acá. Con plástico, ¿ves? Un plástico para el pañal, mejor. Mm. See, sí. and also same color, same green. Okay. Here, what I have inside is that's more stuff mm. inside. Oh, what is this? Other. Okay, so this is the the details of the the girl that did it. Have a heart. Corazoncito. <laughs> Everything inside is plastic, guys. Uh, so very good. So uh, these are actually for protections for my boobs. Mm. I don't need to mm. show this. Mm. Pero circulitos. Ah, sí. Pero esto pasa igual. Protectores. Tendría que haber tenido un plástico. Un plástico para que no te pase la camisa. Ah, oh, okay. Mm. So this is for um, breast breast protections. My mom said it should have a plastic inside. It's just the but well, well, me I didn't know. Sí. And it comes in a nice bag as well. Qué lindo. Está todo. Sí. Wow. Y este. Qué fácil. We open like this. Cambiador. Like this. Doo -doo. Cambiador. Mm. Changer. Diaper changer. Mm. Yeah, yes. it's very, very um, soft. Sí. Yeah. Like it's not super plain. It's like actually uh, full a colchadito. Mm. And I like it. It's very nice. Just close like this, like this. 
and one more. I think I can make it like this. this. And something like this, I think it was. And I can make it smaller and put it inside of the necessary ones again. Okay. Sí, pero no es para llevar. Ah, para tenerlo. Es para tenerlo ahí como en la casa. Sí. My mom was thinking about, she was saying, oh, I would have put something to, like a zip or something to close. But what I am telling her, that this is not actually to carry. It's for the home to be there with everything ready, practical to use, but it's like a stay at home bag. <laughs> Let's call it that way. And we have okay, this one. It's the primera. Breastfeeding pillow. <laughs> Also, you see everything is on the same, with the same design. Um, I tried to choose this as very neutral and pastel colors as well. And I really like it. This is actually for me to put here and breastfeed. And it also, it works for the baby. You can rest the baby here. Claro. And this is the last one. This is called a nest, un nidito. It comes with a pillow. Lo puedes tener así. Claro. Esto decía yo, un tamaño lindo. Sí. Porque si vos viajas cuando él tenga más o menos seis meses, lo podés llevar en la falda entre los claro. dos. Claro. Look at this. Los dos. I will be putting this inside of the bassinet also, but you can put this inside of a crib or whatever. And especially newborns, you know, they need to feel like they are in a small place. They don't. So. This is very cute. Esto es como una una cubrecama. Como una cubrecama. Claro. Un cubre nidito. Ahí es. Very nice. Muy lindo. Está lindo. Sí. Está lindo. Está lindo. La verdad está lindo. Very nice. Muy lindo. Very nice. Baby, we are super ready for you now. night first night i was thinking is i think it's my best no i think no it's officially my like my first ever time first time ever 
that I will sleep in a new bed with a new mattress with new everything. Like I'm the first person mm -hmm. to sleep here in a new new bed. Wow. Guys. Me, I've slept in my house when I bought my bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How does it feel? Very good. Very good. How will you sleep tonight? Maybe I'll film you in the middle of the night <laughs> to see how you are sleeping. <laughs> okay, guys. We have... Um, right, sorry, I was eating like gajitas. Gajitas are... Gachetitas or gachetas. Gache. But you know here they Gacheta. say she, but in real Spanish they say je. Gajetas. Real. This is not real. But... Because this has an accent. <laughs> That's why I'm saying... Guys, we are officially moved in that is marwa thumbnail thumbnail time thumbnail time thumbnail time <laughs> in our new bed yes new guys place, we're still arranging tomorrow everything. we'll be arranging slowly slowly we don't want to push yeah. for now all we need is a bed and yeah. me as marwa i need internet because i need to connect with you guys but the signal is very low here i hope the boss who is like the government now we listen to what the people want <laughs> the people in this case marwa so <laughs> internet we need yeah, yeah we, we need, need to, to get an ex a extend a technician yeah to extend and bring internet back here because mm -hmm. it reach very very low oh yes guys well yes guys a big achievement after a lot yeah, but, but, but so far, right. what have you learned when it comes to construction? I can help you hold this. Oh, a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a no, lot. No, I want like you to educate somebody out there who has no idea or who wants to start, for example, is motivated from seeing this house the way it was day one yeah. to something amazing like this, guys. Super amazing, amazing. Look, look, look. Even the toilet, look at that. Let me actually turn more lights. We even have, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even we have bide it, guys. You know, bide it. This one. Hey, this cleans you up. A. Okay, let me not even say more. Tomorrow we'll put here, we'll put the everything clothes Rosie will have hey guys you just better subscribe to this channel to see more maybe see I sit here for a better thumbnail okay but we already took a good one the progress the progress so something I would say in terms of construction is there's no way to avoid stress <laughs> even if you have money even if you have money or if you don't like it it's not a it's not a it's not really connected there's yeah. always it, can, it will always for some reason reason take longer than what you expect so be ready <laughs> and something happens maybe like a little detail that takes longer or there's something to, to fix or something that it was not i don't know why but i remember so i remember when you came to the villa the first thing you were telling me Oh, these people are not professional because look at this line. It's not straight like this. <laughs> now you see, like when it comes to construction, sometimes you just have to compromise. Mm. And as you live in the house that you're living or you've moved into, step by step, you just keep uh, rectifying those small mistakes you found. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Can you imagine like starting, we started by plastering the house from outside. Yeah. Then we came to the roof, we came to the walls, like that wall was like this. We moved into the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Then we started then fixing electricity and yes. pipes and gas. Oh my God. Yeah, guys, go watch our previous videos so you can, you, maybe you're joining or maybe you're new. Yes. In this channel, you can uh, watch the previous videos like a month and a half ago. A month and a half. When we arrived, uh, you can see how this place was looking and the way that it looks today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm thinking like, imagine you change, you know, this house has taken a lot of money 
when it comes to like fixing the bathroom and and connecting like pipes like plumbing and, and gases hmm. but just like fixing a wall like this is very easy it's just plastering and painting hmm. so i'm imagining if the entire out out there like you plaster it and you give it some beautiful lights that you know hey, it will be amazing yeah yeah like this have this haven't finished this has has not finished. hasn't or has not finished this has not finished yet, yet because yes. now next chapter of this construction it's story outdoor. is outdoor yes. um which i'm super excited about it because uh, like all this construction you know for example it was like oh we have to do it but my favorite part is now like we are ready to decorate and to fix things and design, etc., etc. And for outside, we need to do some uh, plastering on the walls. But the big thing is the design of the backyard that I want to do, because that will bring the beauty, you know, that you want. That I want. I hope that I can. Achieve. I can reach. I can achieve. Yes at least <laughs> at least close to my imagination um but yeah what what else how well, much how, have you spent have you so far or oh, we don't have to say that so far maybe buying beds everything you've done that is excluding the things that your dad gave you like this your dad gave you the other tambo trunk how much do you think you've spent so far Maybe for someone in Latin yeah. America, if somebody on, wants to compare the prices, or you'll say in the next video when you break down, no pressure. But I can imagine you already have like a rough figure of how much you've spent. Yeah, 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 for sure, uh, for sure. Fixing tiles. Yes. Buying all the everything you're seeing here is new, guys. Everything you're seeing is money. Even that thing you're seeing there is money. This bed is money. This everything. pillow is money. This is money. Everything. 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 Yeah. Everything. everything. Uh -huh. uh, well, yeah, so far I've spent, how much do you think, guys? Leave a comment No, you can give, you, okay, yeah. Um, but again, if you don't an answer, it's not a must, you know. But you can give people a, a rough no. estimate. Okay, so okay, then. for what I, what I spent, is, the thing is, it can be, I could have spent... Double. Double, in triple, achieving the same thing. and achieving the same. Because you know that is true. Because guys, we, like sometimes Rocio would find, for example, this washer here. Yeah. How much was a new one, Rocio? A new one was close to a million. Like a million. One thousand dollars. That's one thousand dollars. Yes. But you ended up you ended up buying it I, at. I bought that one second hand. Yes. With a from a technician, you know, a, a place technician, a technician, yeah. so they gave me warranty and things like this. Yeah, somebody who fixes them exactly. And I paid 300,000. So imagine right there, Rocio could have bought a new one, yeah, and it would have costed or it the cost of just that new gadget with this one. The difference is 700,000 uh, Argentinian pesos, which is 700 USD. Yeah, but so, I would say that the only second-hand thing I bought mm -hmm. was the washing machine because it was crazily expensive. Like new, it was super no, expensive. No, no, I'm just trying. But to the show, rest, yeah. I bought everything brand, brand new. new. Yeah, but brand I'm just new. trying to show you. Like yeah. we just saved seven hundred dollars in just yeah. one item. Yes. So that's yes, why we are yes. saying you have to be very smart when building. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you may achieve the same result. Because for us, for example, our big deal is. For the machine to work and we have a warrant at least for the next six months yes. we are sure it will work yeah, that's all we need for sure yeah. and we are guaranteed that we have a machine which can wash clothes and also we have a warranty mm -hmm. that for the next six months if it breaks down we can take it back so that's all we need all we need is our clothes mm -hmm. to be washed it mm -hmm. doesn't have to look new or old as long as it can do the job yeah so just yeah. imagine just like that we saved 700 something like this i don't know even how much it would cost uh, I know the prices of this one. Maybe a million also. I don't know. I have no well, sure. At least three hundred thousand for mm -hmm. sure. For sure. And also the cal the calefactor. No. Calefactor. No. no the the one that hits the thermo tank. Thermo tank. Like the water heater that was here also. My mom actually gifted us the the cooker. 
Wow, you can imagine. Yes. And the fridge is coming. We will have also a new fridge. Which will be sitting over there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I can easily say that I've spent around 5,000 USA in USD. all of this. Yeah. USD in all of this. Actually, that is on a Just cheaper... Just the interior. That is on a cheaper <laughs> side. Yeah, to be honest... Because, because if actually you bought like these things, you bought that, everything, everything, you spent 1 million on this, it would be around 7,000 USD. Easily, easily, and I really, I took the time. Like I really took the time. I really yeah. took the time also to seek prices, you know. Yeah. Because something funny in Argentina is that for the same same thing, you can be paying three or times more in one store. You go next door, and the price is totally different. So it's like it's not everything is in general has a same price. You can find the same for. Let me help very you very different camera. prices so yeah that's something so, yeah. actually even me I'm, I'm surprised and it's not like the next store is selling you a fake or less quality stuff mm -hmm. it's exactly the same yeah but the prices differ in a yeah. very huge way yeah for example the mattress yeah. you see we went on a store yeah remember yes they were asking for a mattress like this like seven hundred thousand for example, that is seven hundred dollars. Yeah, imagine? Uh, this is crazy. Seven hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and I paid this like three hundred and something. You, you know that but, this mattress is actually very good, guys. I've never seen this type of mattress ever. And, and let me tell you, in the village, I've never seen that. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, I bought the best quality, but I just got it direct from fabric. Oh, the guys who make make yeah, them. they make them. You know. And but I bought what they, on all the all the types of mattress that they had. I asked for the the best quality in oh. this size. So it's not that I, I went like the cheapest or the low quality. No, I actually have the, the I still the have this, the same. Mm -hmm. I still have the best quality, but I found direct fabric came from Buenos Aires. It traveled like five hours. This mattress to be here and everything, oh. and I saved. $400, for example. So technically, guys, yeah. what Rocio is trying to say is if you're not careful, no. you may build with double the same, another neighbor will do the same okay. thing. You think that's Argentina or for you in Kenya was the same? No, I, I think, for example, a bed in Kenya, yeah. a bed, everything, like to sleep, like the bed. But the bed I'm, we are sleeping is expensive. I bought it at 500 USD. Uh -huh. But it's a really classy bed mm -hmm. it depends also and it's bigger way bigger it's way bigger yeah it's like two double double bigger. nearly this so yes. it also depends sometimes you know if you have like some tests for example the door in my house i spent i, I spent um i spent three thousand usd actually close to four thousand usd just to buy a door yeah so it depends your taste yeah but sure. but one thing i can say is really construction it's really not like you can't do it. It depends mm -hmm. who you know. For example, when we were working on the walls, yeah. some people gave you double the price. Exactly, yes. And the yes. same guys that yes. worked here never gave us that double price. That's why we worked with them. Yeah. But one thing I've learned about Argentina is, I don't know if it's Argentina or it's you, these people are trying to take advantage, that sometimes people will ask you more money than the cost of buying the materials of the job yeah, they are that, doing. Yeah, that was something I was I was uh, thinking. And I was saying, I don't know if this video or in my previous video where actually uh, labor here is more expensive than materials. That's something that I, I don't experiment. That's what I'm saying. With it, but almost with everybody. No, that's that's one thing I'm saying. Maybe it's you being new into the construction site, uh, like arena, or. Maybe that's how it works here. But me in my home, somebody can never ask me more money than the material that we are using. Mm -hmm. Simply that means I'm building him another house. Imagine if 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 to if to buy tiles, guys, and 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 cement and fixing this tile, let's say is one thousand USD, and the guy who is supposed to do the job is asking me for over a thousand USD to do the job, then. There's something wrong right there, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
But anyway, we have done it. So I'm happy and I'm more relaxed for sure. <laughs> yeah, and, sleep good. and that's one thing me I always tell people. It's not bad to work hard. It's not bad. It's here, you know, I have seen some crazy comments on our YouTube channel. Oh, you become a slave. You did, did, did. Bro, we want comfort. And this is what comfort is. Mm -hmm. Nothing comes in a silver platter. You have to put an effort. You have actually to desire that that good life and you work towards it. But people want to call you, oh, you are poor, just because you actually refuse to wake up and work. And people, some people equate work with, with, with like suffering. No, work is purely saying, I don't want to be where I am today. I just want to change my life. I just want to, I deserve better. I deserve a nice bed like this. We deserve a well-painted, nice lights, you know, you know, everything. And you st still, there's more to come. Just watch this space. So they and say. I think you can, I mean, this is, I found it very stupid to use the word slave, you know. Yeah. And I find it very sad when mostly comes from black people, guys, like, come on, open your mind. It's yeah. time to no, change. Especially Africans It's time to in heal Africa. that. It's time to heal. You're more than that. But besides all of that... Um, For example, your dad works every day here. Very hard. I've never had anybody calling him those words. For sure, no. And we I, don't, I, we I, don't I, use those. I work with him every day and people call me those we names. We don't use that vocabulary. But probably that person using that vocabulary is working eight, nine hours, maybe more. To get with a, a boss. salary with a boss, and he's not even able, he to or she's do... not even able to achieve something like that. So, who's the slave? Exactly. I would say. Exactly, but guys. I don't even want to use that vocabulary in, because in my life, that it's not in my mindset. No, 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 no. Mentality I'll... is not. A, it's not. The reason I brought it me, is but... just to show you that, guys, if if you want a better life, be willing and be ready. Yeah. Willing and ready to go through like a hard time yeah. because that hard time is what actually gives you a reward of yeah. enjoyment in one way or the other mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yeah and also we want to appreciate your dad maybe you'll appreciate him for the viewers i appreciate my my dad and my mom you okay. know Yes. Maybe you maybe you pamper a lot on Mr. Luis, but Mr. Luis without Miss Hajaravisha is nothing. <laughs> so no, don't I, forget I about my mom. <laughs> yeah, I say I just I just say that because most of the time I spend time with with your dad. Yes. And I see him how he's very hardworking. He turns around. He does this, and he never complains. That's one thing I've I've come to learn with Mr. Luis. He's very calm. The only difference between Mr. Luis and me is me, I want to do things quick, 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 quick bang, let's go. Mr. Yeah, Luis my dad is one. okay, a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow. For example, <laughs> fitting that calefactora, it took him two days. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> yeah. for a guy like me, I'm like, bro, yeah. this is all we've done today. You know? Yeah. Another thing is in this uh, type of uh, projects, you know, uh, I'm rich, Rocio, but I'm still not the rich that I will be in my future, right? So, and my family is very humble. I come from a very hum hum humble family and we are very hard workers at the same time. Yeah, that's true. So, and also very supportive. And for sure, I accepted a lot of help from them. Uh, but if you have the, if you have Sometimes family wants to support you and sometimes you want to support family. Sometimes you have uh, someone in your family that knows how to fix this or other. I would recommend mostly, I would recommend um, to work actually with people that you don't know. Um, to bring, you know, external workers. Yeah, because sometimes family, they don't want to do it. When you tell them, they see that you're disturbing them. And yeah. why are you pushing them and all this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Uh, Mr. Luis was very different. He didn't show any sign of being pushed. He actually, my in my last video, it was very emotional. Mm -hmm. He said, because you are the daughter, yeah. he has to do it for you. Because every father wants to see their kids have a good life. 
and if it means they'll have to sacrifice everything they have their energy their time even if at an old age yes to support their kids then so be it yeah for sure for sure that is totally appreciative but for example i could have avoid a big stress coming you know and and for sure it's my dad and i could know like come on dad hurry up you know those things between family members and especially my dad as I, the way that i respect him um maybe if it would have been a worker and he's taking too long i would have been able to step in and say hey come on you're not doing the job yeah, correctly yeah. you know so that's those have seen the things that like you have I to, have, find, you have to yeah. find a balance of, you have to find a balance you have to find a being. balance of compromising yeah and also trying to get the job done the right way exactly yeah exactly yeah, exactly yeah, like me, it's, it's my, it was my first time to paint a house, look. Mm-hmm. Even me, I'm surprised. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But it looks very comfy, right? Yeah, very, very, very comfy. We call it cozy. Cozy. Yeah, cozy, our cozy, cozy first night. Just, it's, it's, it's still like quite naked. So, and the next keep one on week. coming guys keep on coming to these videos because you will be able to see more i'm not finished yet and we need to buy a bed for the baby i think we can put it here or you want we don't need to buy a bed for the baby because i already bought a bed for the baby my love it's already here Ooh. things for the baby are settled already. no no bed no no bed. I got a ba- a base net. Okay, that's different. Me, yeah, I was talking like a real bed, like somewhere. No, for a newborn, it's no necessary. Okay, it's not necessary. No. Yes, guys. Also, the baby's coming, so more stuff. You know, the place actually is smaller than it was in my imagination. So <laughs> I had to stop myself in buying stuff Mm -hmm. because actually uh, this place is not as big as i I was thinking so once we put a few things it's already like super full and crowded and i don't want it i don't want it to be crowded like now we are waiting for a table no you know actually i changed that table i changed that table to uh to bedside table tables oh yeah yes still okay because guys i ordered a coffee table to put it next to the sofa here let me give you a small multi-million studio room tour <laughs> i saw one guy say multi-million multi-million <laughs> we, we we accept multi-million Not we accept the millions accept yeah the, the <laughs> um Everything can change here, guys. So don't don't stay stick to these ideas. Maybe tomorrow I will wake up and I decide to true change everything. That's me sometimes. But for now, um, sofa here, this table, the this table, I will put it in this way here. And so I ordered a coffee table for this space because in my imagination. I was putting like a nice carpet with a coffee table and us chilling in the sofa. But look at this small place I have. Like if I bring a coffee table here, there will be no space at all, at all. And a coffee table doesn't have too many more uh, uses. Uses? Yeah. How would I say uses? Yeah. So I actually change it because I also need to get two um, bedside ta- uh, tables also. Yeah. Mesitas de luz. Yeah, it's like desks. Yeah, they are coming tomorrow here and here. Like and also tomorrow is coming another another furniture where I will be putting cups and glasses and all the kitchen stuff. Um, ooh. Sorry guys, my battery, my battery uh, died. But anyway, this is the spot. Um, 
I will be decorating and doing all the things that I like the most in the next days. So for now, at least we have a bed. We have a bed, God Matata. Yes. To rest we thank, and distress. Thank God for everything. And distress. Even me, I am feeling just. I am just. I just want to sleep like this and sleep until tomorrow. <laughs> we are ready to be a happy family. Yeah. Now. And we have our chiki churi coming soon. <laughs> What we the, are a happy family already. What, what Matata Junior. We are a happy family already. Yes. Yeah. Alright, uh, guys. That's for a beautiful family. Personally, I thank God for everything, guys. Oh, you already, oh. already okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I thank God for everything, guys, and thank you for your support. Today was a very beautiful day. But I I worked so hard, so I feel a little tired, tired here and there. Okay, we have yeah. hot shower now. Actually, maybe mm. that's what I need. We shouldn't sleep tonight. No, no, no. We need to be uh, like super new. clean in our new bed. Yes. Yes, for sure. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned so you can see the rest of this amazing progress that we have done. I'm very proud and happy. Thank you for your support. You know, right, I love you. Um, welcome. And I yes, love you then. too. Okay, my love. Thank you guys. Subscribe. Guys, please subscribe. To this channel. Subscribe, subscribe. Yes.